Hello and welcome to the Dripping Hartnell podcast. I'm James Sutton and I'm here with Connor Chadwick. Hello. Aidan O'Connor. Hello. Abby Louise. Howdy. And Connor J. Sumner. Hello, 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 hello. And today we're going to be talking about the 15th Doctor's new sonic screwdriver as used by Shuti Gatwa. <laughs> so, what's everyone's thoughts on this new device that has been revealed to us? I really like it. Um, I'm not going to be around the bush. I think it's great. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's as I've seen in a tweet earlier. It's it's finally it's a a piece of alien technology that looks like alien, like proper like alien technology. Mm. Mm-hmm. My only see, I like it. However, oh. it's not a sonic screwdriver. It is now. Well, yeah. the thing is, the way I see it is, when Six got his sonic lance, it was called a sonic lance. So why could like we don't like? Why could they not have called it something else? Why is it still got to be a screwdriver when it looks like a cowpole medicine spoon? Oh, I imagine oh. it's for marketability, um, yes. considering the fact that, speaking as someone obviously familiar with, with the, the world of sonic screwdrivers, um, there is a school of thought, which is, uh, the other day I was doing this presentation for the St. Louis Science Centre, where I had to put it together, and I went into this folder that was created by my friend Brian, and I went, oh, thank God, there's all these pictures of all, every sonic screwdriver in here, and I got to where the sonic lance should be, and there wasn't any pictures, and I had to go, Brian where's all the pictures of Sonic Lance? And he went, well, it's a Lance. It doesn't count, does it? And I'm like, what? oh, good. So that just means that the Sixth Doctor never had a Sonic device because no. you don't think it counts. And so the problem is if we don't call this a Sonic screwdriver, everyone will always forever go, well, it's a shame Shooty Gatwa never got given a Sonic screwdriver. Um, yeah, true, so, I suppose. So from that... It's a, I suppose it's like the Sonic glasses as well for 12. Yeah, exactly. I mean, obviously, Jody's screwdriver was referred to as a sonic Swiss army knife, and that's really what this looks yes. like with, obviously, the flip-out magnifying glass, the, the bit that pops out the top, um, to sort of, which is also kind of like a magnifying glass, almost. And it also um, like, extend as well, like, you can turn it and make it a small... Sonic. Yeah, it swivels, it, it pops back, it does all kinds of things, so... It, it's it, got it the really... remote control from Click. Also, does... can I just call attention to the fact that to my knowledge, the only one that has actually been used as a screwdriver is Troughton's. Like, it's, you know, it's it, it's a case of... Um... Okay, yeah, I'm probably wrong there. <laughs> uh, you're very wrong. Uh, John Pert, we definitely used it as a screwdriver okay. a few times. Uh, really, I mean, I can go pedantic on this one, to be honest with you. Like, At like, least in I, the, in the, watch, the modern If you watch Sutton's yeah. presentation, as I did, you will know that he knows everything. <laughs> <laughs> in, at least in the modern era, so, although I'm probably going to get called out on this as well. Um, to my knowledge, it hasn't been used as an actual screwdriver. It's just it's a, it's a good question. Uh, it's just the term barbed that is used wire for with it. it. Yep, and opened locks, and there must be a screwdriver. To be fair, you might be right on that. I must be thinking, forgetting something obvious. But it's it's it, it, what I mean is, screwdrivers mm-hmm. don't do all that other shit. It's just the term that is used for it. It doesn't have to look like a screwdriver because none of them do. Mm. I think I, mean, it, I, generally, not... I, th- I think it's because it's a completely different shape to the others. Like they've I all think... kind of had that pointy end and then the the rounded off end. All of them, including Jody's peculiar looking thing. But then again, there was the one from Fury from the Deep, which was just as Sutton uh, outlined in his presentation. 
was just the whistle off a life jacket. Yeah. So all I love the way we're all referencing to... that presentation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everyone yeah. go watch this presentation. I feel like you need to put a little link at the bottom of this thing. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. Think, I think there is no consistency between screwdrivers. Like, the classic design compared to the new series design doesn't have many similarities in it. So when you get to the RTD era, the prop completely changed. And so it was, you know... Yeah. This light in the end hadn't been seen since the pen light, which was just a solid thing. So there isn't actually a consistency, really, with what a sonic screwdriver actually looks like, um, which I guess can be seen in the same sort of way as a phone. You know, if you look at an iPhone now and compare it to a Nokia, you know, from 10 years ago or whatever, they're not going to actually if you compare it to a Nokia nowadays. In fact, they're not going to look the same, but they are still the same object. And I mean, yeah, also true. screwdriver wise, if you look at like your basic screwdriver from like, as I say, the Victorian era with a big wooden handle and a flat bit at the front, compare that now to the plastic handled ones we have with sort of cross heads and stuff, or even electronic screwdrivers, which have got like a sort of fat handle section that have a, a you know, a plug in thing, which allows it to then manually, I mean, you, you know, with drills, when you have a drill, you can have ones that are battery operated and they do screws and unscrews. But that doesn't look like a screwdriver or a drill, but you can use a drill as a screwdriver. You see, yeah. so effectively, this could just be a modern interpretation of what a screwdriver actually is. If it, as long as it undoes a screw, it's still a screwdriver, technically. Not that it'll ever undo a screw, as Connor's outlined here, that I don't, yeah, I don't think they've ever, they must have. I must be forgetting a really old. I'm thinking down below. series one with Eccleston, they must have done it because they did it because they did so much specific things like barbed wire. Well, it was barbed wire, resonant and concrete. He undid the, he, he blew up the lift controls. He sonic the like uh, Auton's arm. Like he must. Now th we've gone off track. We've gone off massively off track. <laughs> now we're just trying to work out if he's ever undone a screw with it. Um, but <laughs> I, I will I will say this to try to bring it back. The thing that yeah, makes really me is. laugh is how excited and how quickly 14 Sonic came and went. Yeah, but I guess think how how, how how much yeah. some people bought those things in bulk and then tried yeah. to sell them at ridiculous prices. And it was literally in it's two in episodes. Three episodes. <laughs> But again, um, to uh, speaking as you know, Mister Screwdriver, uh, people will buy things even if it just appeared like once. Yeah, you know, that, true, think about true. the amount of things that people have just bought because it was in Doctor Who. But like, destroyed instance, Cassandra. You all remember the screen used prop of <laughs> Bubble Shock. Exactly, TV. that that was in one episode of the Sarah Jane Adventures. And the other thing as well was uh, Trouton screwdrivers. As I said in the presentation, they appear once. And they're gone. Like the, the the one, the pen light is in the war games for like a few minutes and is gone. Yeah, just to prove and, that he's an alien. Yes. And people hunt down those pen lights and spend hundreds of pounds trying to find vintage pen lights for just that one appearance. You know. True. So true. It's true. it's it doesn't matter as long as it had an impact. I mean, the, again, the the screwdriver in and David Tennant's case there. He was, it was there as long as David Tennant was in these episodes as well. So we had him for three episodes and he's gone again. But we all got excited about him being back. So do we? You know. Do we reckon as well that Shooty's um, Sonic will do the same things that David's did with the whole like screen and force fields? Um... I imagine so. I I I have no insider knowledge on its features in that sense of like what it might be doing. But the the likelihood that they utilize those features again is probably quite high considering it's very sort of star trek star wars sort of yeah vibes like giving the this way, good i like the way that they seem to definitely be leaning into though because the way that they used to have the sonic change settings it would be eccleston or tenant with their screwdriver just turning something that we can't see being turned they're going yep mm. okay there we go whereas here it's got multiple buttons so yeah it gives something that you can press that button for like as we've seen some clips from the christmas special a torch mm -hmm. yeah yeah but, i mean so, i like i like the dial as well obviously with the rwandan proverb on it i think that's a really nice touch yeah. to, it's, got a little, sort of, it's still got a crystal inside it it's a the crystal's really fun and i like the fact that the swivel like everyone's talking about the swivel sort of being um you know how it swivels open if you notice the crystal is on the side that gets revealed when it's turned open so i kind of like that the crystal is kept inside the 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 body oh, of this prop, overall. yeah, mm -hmm. and and then get sort of opened out to reveal the inner workings, um, <laughs> which is quite fun, and um, I like I really like it in closed mode. I think I think in as as people have been comparing it to a TV remote in open mode, um, 
I think that the strength we've really not focused on is the fact that when it's in closed mode, it looks beautifully like a sort of 2000s computer mouse. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what, 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 I don't think I've seen it in closed mode. That's a, that's a ah, well, there I think, was. I haven't slipped up. There is a video of um, when it was uh, revealed at the South Bank. Um, the brand manager for Doctor Who was placing it in the case, and he quickly showed fans that a few of its uh, features. And that video was posted onto TikTok. And effectively, you can see this thing being swiveled in and out and opened, and you get yeah, a good look went, at it in close you mode. Went it, didn't you, I went... did. Me and Ruedri guest, we popped down <laughs> to. Um, the south bank uh, in the pouring rain and uh, sort of stood around it for hours and then we went and got the hot chocolate because there was a disney plus stall nearby which was giving away free hot chocolate and as rory's a student um and i'm just you know a freelance prop maker uh really at this point any freebies going will be there <laughs> <laughs> yeah. free you say i will have two um so yeah i mean we weren't I mean, allowed it, to i mean it's definitely like it's a situation I'm in where I, I'm like, I like it, but it's thing of, I want to see the functionality because it's like, I, once I know what kind of func- the kind of the functions that it has in action, I can form a better idea of it from that. Mm. I mean, the Christmas special, just from the, if anyone's seen the Goblin Song video, obviously. I've uh, had it on repeat all <laughs> day. <laughs> number I one am, on iTunes. Number one on iTunes. Uh, I think the one thing I liked was that he was using, I think, was it like the front of it or something? Like he had the front of it, like, it like the, a magnifying piece, glass at the front. The, the, that, yes. that piece that comes up can connect with other technology and he can hack into it using it. Yeah. And I was like, oh, that's, that's interesting. Never, like, you know, it's it's like I've never seen the Sonic do that kind of thing before. So it's like, yeah. ah. isn't it? Is, isn't that the case? Something like it, it, the little pit comes out and they can plug it in. Yeah, Shooty, when he was giving us for the walkthrough of it, says that this this top part can pop out and it can sort of connect with USBs and that sort of side of things. Um, although in that clip, he does appear to sort of be crawling through this this uh, sort of, well, I guess it's sort of venting almost. Like, you know, it literally looks like they're crawling through some sort of, um, what are they called? The thing, it is a vent, isn't it? I, I remember oh, it does. Yeah. Yeah. That, that ventilation shaft. Crawling... Yeah. The ventilation shaft, that's it, like Bruce Willis. He's crawling through that, uh, but made of wood, um, and looking through it like a magnifying glass almost, even mm. though he's got a magnifying glass on the side of it. So I don't know what really... I mean, it, I have no... It out from the side as well. Yes, yeah, so there's there's a magnifying glass that folds out from the side, um, which you can look through. It is very much like a Swiss army knife at this point with all of its folding and features and everything like that, which makes sense, to be fair. If you were the Doctor and you had a screwdriver for a billion years and you were tinkering around with it, you might eventually get one where you start gluing bits. I mean, that happened with the TARDIS yeah. as well. When, with, when you look at like the Tenant TARDIS originally the and the Matt Swift one and everything, it became a lot of found parts that he kind of bolted on during the time war going, oh, well, you know, I need to fix that. I'll quickly put one of these things on instead because that will do the job. And it's interesting to see him sort of tinkering with his screwdriver now so that it does actually have more features than, as Abby said, um, you know, just sort of having a light on the end and having a sort of thin bit at one end like all the others. I think it was Abby that said that. Maybe it was Connor yes, that said that. You, bl- you blend into one these days. Um, <laughs> Oh. You just look so alike. Um, oh, cheers. <laughs> oh. Aiden. I, I think like, it's it's been interesting to see like the fan reaction to it, but the one thing I am interested with, and I think I've mentioned this on the, 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 the Dripping Heart podcast about the giggle, was just Shooty's like, reaction to it. It was just, I was like, this man is just taking it on the chin and just rolling with it. Like, he's just like, big difference between my Sonic and a Sky Robo. <laughs> Yeah, on social media, he made comment about it, didn't they? Yeah, he put up on the story, and he was, and then he put like a Nicki Minaj song, which is called "Big Difference." No, uh, I'm just like this guy gives no like care at all about. I love him. <laughs> the thing he's also just got no care about like the whole social media element. No, oh, no, he, he knows there's gonna be haters. He just responds, and then they're like, "Oh, he responded." Yeah, yeah. run away now. <laughs> Again, the the first current doctor to actually have a social media account mm-hmm. and just is able to. This is why I feel old. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it, I I I I'm, I'm intrigued as to um how much she uses it because 
Jody used it far too much. And I'm hoping the fact that it's not a big pointy stick now uh, will mean that he doesn't do the whole big swingy arm thing that Jody ended up doing. Um, oh, what, like this? But no, I, 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 am, I am intrigued about, about this one. I'm I will say, oh, that he kind it's of holds it more like this. It's kind of just like... Like that, reading it like an actual device instead of like pointing around. I love the fact that you're doing that. This is audio, my darling. Yeah, darling. sorry, I realised as soon as I did it. But you're holding, <laughs> I'm holding, a reference for those listening, I'm holding my glasses case and sort of looking at it like a small device, like he can type into it and read. And there's a little readout thing that he can look at. And he can use it a little bit like you know the way guys of Star Trek um, hold their little devices. Yeah, it look, there, some yeah. people were saying it looks a little bit like a Star Trek like readout device type thing. I don't think that's a bad thing. I think it, it essentially it can probably like give him information on um like what if the air pollution is fine and all that stuff wherever they land. You know, it, it's just these little simple little scans like that can yeah. be done remotely. Awesome yeah, question. Yeah. I think overall we're all excited to see what occurs. Hmm. Yes. What color is the crystal, by the way, that, it, that they said? Purple. 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 Oh. <laughs> That's the second doctor. <laughs> All of us were like, <laughs> anyone talked to Dom recently? <laughs> well, well, you said that, but there was some filming a few months ago where they opened the door to the TARDIS and there's a purple light coming out, and then Dom was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, please. No. He feels, it's one of those things where he feels, he feels really validated by it, but he's like, let my series come out plus first, please. <laughs> please. I know, you know, it was it was just it was the more like that was the episode where Shooty has a full on afro as well. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. But yeah. yeah, overall, I think I'm really looking forward to seeing what goes on with the Sonic. Um Yeah. I hope yeah. like like Abatha says, I'm hoping that it's uh not something that's used as well, the right word isn't MacGuffin, but it's not used as multi-purpose therefore it can always solve the story for the doctor yeah i if anything because i think the 14th doctor science driver was a way of which was a very good 60th celebratory screwdriver this one is like what we said during the giggle uh podcast we, we recorded this is really an insight into where we're going to see the, sh the show go now. The 60th was a nice sort of return to the show, bringing the people back. And now with this Christmas special, they're doing the changes, and we're gonna we're gonna see that um, with the church on Ruby Road. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Um, anyone else wanna add? Anything? No, yeah. I'm, I mean, I I said my piece right away. I just I just like it. I think it's really cool. I think it's a cool prop and character options. You better fucking make this because I want one. Oh, uh, I was anticipating that a pre order, like a pre order, was going to shoot up on character options. I'd like to say to character options, I don't put any pressure on you. Uh, very much appreciate your work. <laughs> so yeah, you're just saying that because you you're going to try and make it yourself first. <laughs> what? <laughs> that's 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 yeah. all it's got to say. <laughs> all right, thank you all for watching. And have a very good night and a very merry Christmas from to all of you at home. <laughs> if this doesn't come out at Christmas, that's going to be really funny. Oh, it will do. <laughs> Happy New Year. Uh, Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> April Happy Fools. Easter. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs>